Behind me here, we can see our iCub, which is a, a humanoid robot um, with a large number of degrees of freedom. That means to say it's got a large number of joints which can all move relative to each other. And it's uh, a comparable in size to, uh, to a, a small child, and it has a comparable ability to move its joints and its hands and its arms uh, and its legs around. The iCub uh, was built by a European consortium that were funded by the European Union to build these kinds of, of robots. And part of the deal with, uh, with their funding was that they had to give away a certain number of these robots to research institutions who put forward a project proposal. We're particularly, particularly interested in experiments where it's using its upper torso, its arms and its hands, to manipulate things that it can see in front of it. The iCub here is in fact uh, uh, a follow-on robot to uh, a robot that we were using before called Ludwig, which was another hu humanoid robot, but was very crude in comparison to this one. This is a beautifully engineered robot with a very large number of degrees of freedom, very flexible, and much more uh, able platform for robotics research and for trying to understand cognition better. The research we'll be carrying out with the iCub will involve trying to get it to reason about objects in front of it and near it and to uh, work out how it can manipulate those, those objects. So we're particularly interested in using spiking neurons to control the robot and those are neurons whose signaling properties are quite similar to those of, of real uh, biological brains. So they communicate to each other by sending little spikes of electricity and that's an approach that hasn't been taken very much in robotics and when it has been taken in robotics it's with small numbers of neurons and we're trying to do it with large numbers of neurons, large numbers of spiking neurons. If we think of this as a step towards artificial intelligence then the research could take anything from five to five hundred years and uh, we really will have to wait and see. Um, but I'm hoping that we'll get some interesting results out of uh, the research with this particular iCub in a, in a couple of years. Well, I hope that we'll gradually start to understand more about cognition, cognition in humans and in, and in animals, uh, and that by building our theories into robots and trying out our theories in computers and robots, that will help us to understand whether the theories of cognition are good ones or not. With this kind of technology that we have now, very advanced humanoid robotics, along with the ability to produce very large scale neural network simulations, then we hope to be able to do the kind of research into artificial intelligence and cognition that we've never been able to do before.